The best way to understand interoperability is to see the early success stories of it in action. And today there's about $200 billion in BTC liquidity, and meanwhile DeFi's total value locked is still just over $11 billion. Forever, developers have been working to enable users to unlock that $200 billion in Bitcoin value to be used in DeFi applications, which exist on Ethereum. So one of the most exciting developments in DeFi in 2020 has been around the tokenization of Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin is represented one-to-one -one on Ethereum, we call that tokenizing BTC. And there's over $1.25 billion now in BTC tokenized on Ethereum, with the most popular representations of it being WBTC or RenBTC or SBTC, which is synthetic BTC from the Synthetics team, and the newly introduced TBTC or Trustless BTC. Now these innovations to empower the creation of BTC pegs tokens have caused a 100x explosion from 1100 BTC to 117,000 Bitcoins tokenized on Ethereum. The key takeaway is that the year 2020 is a turning point for the long held debate over interoperability. The nation of DeFi clearly demands it and it's enabled one to take value stored in Bitcoin and put it to work in a world of new and exciting decentralized finance applications on Ethereum. It's like giving your Bitcoin a holiday in a completely different land where it can do a bunch of other stuff that just isn't possible on the Bitcoin network. And in the future, we'll probably see similar demands as DeFi development grows beyond the confines of Ethereum so that users can move between a melting pot of digital assets and applications across many blockchains to their heart's content. But for now, the explosion of Bitcoin tokenization on Ethereum is the best proof that when you enable DeFi users to be interoperable, users will move their value to wherever they can put their money to work best for them, and that leads to exponential growth. The state of DeFi today can be found mostly flourishing on Ethereum. One look at DeFi Pulse and you'll notice right away not only is DeFi flourishing, but it's growing and changing daily. New applications launch faster than you can keep up with. So if you think about DeFi today, the largest landmass and empire is definitely on Ethereum. But that empire is only going to grow. The network effects of developers working together and building composable tools that can be stacked and benefit one another is one of the competitive modes no one expects any other smart contract platform to be able to compete with anytime soon. If you consider Bitcoin, it's kind of like the precious treasure that helps to fuel this DeFi adventure because it's the most liquid store of value project in the world with $200 billion in BTC. And given the global popularity of Bitcoin, its role is set to continue growing or maintain its popularity as a store of value. But it's a less elegant piece of the story as the most urgent heavy lifting in the DeFi community still revolves around the development of money applications at breakneck speed, while ETH2 developers scale Ethereum to overcome gas costs. But the more Bitcoin value tokenized and collateralized and provided as liquidity on Ethereum, the more liquidity available to trade, borrow, and transform with new money applications. And in the future, we can expect blockchains like Polkadot, Cosmos, and Binance Smart Chain, which already have their own DeFi efforts underway, to release their own DeFi applications. And these will offer greater opportunities as DeFi users discover more interoperability solutions. For now, most alternative blockchains powering DeFi primitives will remain siloed from the majority of activity on Ethereum and the newly introduced liquidity from tokenized BTC. But with bridges like Solana's Wormhole, Near's Rainbow Bridge and Harmony Horizon, there's increased opportunity for value to transfer easily and cheaply from one chain to another. And the key takeaway here is we all play a part in the future of DeFi, but for now, Ethereum will carry most of the weight, trailblazing with unstoppable network effects and innovations releasing daily. In DeFi, our money is controlled by us, the user. While the apps we use are often created by different teams who share one common thread, the blockchain. And in most cases, that's Ethereum. Now the first tool you need in DeFi is a wallet that interacts with smart contracts and DeFi apps so you can tell the app to do things for you. So let's look at those. MetaMask is the most popular of these wallets and it works as a Chrome extension on your browser. And that means you can go to a website, click on buttons to send small amounts of ETH in exchange for the app doing things like trading, lending, borrowing, or sending your money. And it works just as a little pop-up window you sign a transaction and then that's how it works. And MetaMask will also allow you to store your wallets and crypto assets on Ethereum. 
There are alternatives to MetaMask like Argent, Monolith, the Coinbase Wallet, and Gnosis Safe, to name a few. Secondly, we need a tool to track your on-chain portfolio. And that's where tools like Zapper, Zerion, and DeBank come in handy. Now, each of these offers a DeFi dashboard by simply connecting your wallet and stringing together all of your money into a more traditional portfolio view like you'd find in banking apps. But again, without requiring your ID or any personal information, it just looks at your wallet address and says, this is what you have and this is what you can do. Finally, information is power. Knowing where you can borrow, where you can provide liquidity, where you can automate yield farming and more, is key. And that's probably why you're watching DeFi 101. Now, DeFi moves quickly, so just keeping up on information with the DeFi will help you stay updated on new opportunities. But just bear this in mind, your money is yours. It's mobile, it can go wherever the best opportunities are. And no one can stop you because it's permissionless. And the key takeaway here is knowing how to store your assets, how to interact with dApps using a Web3 Ethereum wallet, and then knowing where to go to try all these new applications releasing in DeFi. Well, isn't that a clickbaity title to draw you in? Look, first off, there's no ranking to this order, but we did use DeFi Pulse's TVL, or Total Value Locked, to guide kind of how we identified the top teams, as it's an easy metric to prove DeFi users not only use an app, but they're willing to trust the code with the money they deposit into the apps. So first off, we're looking at Kyber, the lord of liquidity in DeFi. Now, Kyber is an unsung hero of DeFi, working in the background as an on-chain liquidity protocol that lets token holders contribute liquidity. Next up, Zapper. And this is your all-in-one DeFi dashboard where you can quickly zap into liquidity provisions in a few clicks with DeFi zaps and trade using their DEX aggregator, Zapper Exchange. Loopring is the fastest DEX currently built on layer 2 tech on Ethereum, enabling around 2,000 transactions per second. Built on Ethereum, but it feels more like a centralized exchange trading engine. Didex. Now, Didex is a DeFi darling project that goes back to 2017 with the most trade volume of any decentralized perpetuals market and decentralized margin trading exchange. So it's a derivatives exchange and the first decentralized one to appear on Ethereum. Nexus Mutual is the godfather of DeFi insurance, providing just under $250 million in coverage for DeFi users today on Ethereum. And if you're worried about hacks, well, this is the insurance policy you need. Instadap is a DeFi Superman cape empowering users to leverage flash loan recipes in a few clicks on Maker and Compound. REN Protocol provides interoperability bridges, which have tokenized about $268 million in BTC onto Ethereum in 2020 alone, of the 1.36 billion tokenized BTC in total today. Balancer, launched just this year, is an automated market maker built on Ethereum where anyone can create or add liquidity to customizable pools and earn trading fees. A huge innovation building upon Uniswap's initial success. Yearn.finance exploded onto the scene this summer, aiming to automate yield farming with a few clicks. And Yearn makes the most powerful strategies accessible to even newcomers with a product called YVault. Synthetix pioneered liquidity mining over a year ago before it was really a thing. And now with just under $600 million in TVL, it offers on-chain exposure to any asset, including commodities, forex, indices, cryptocurrencies not on Ethereum, and soon equities. That's right, you'll be able to buy synthetic stocks like Apple or Google on Synthetix Exchange. Compound lets users earn interest or borrow assets against collateral, and Compound basically kicked off this summer's DeFi mania with their Comp token launch, which popularized liquidity mining and introduced a whole new scene of yield farmers. Other boasts $1.3 billion in TVL as today's leading lending and borrowing platform in DeFi. And the team has a knack for creative marketing while offering new products like the ability to collateralize multiple crypto assets and borrow against the aggregate value versus Maker, which only collateralizes one asset per loan. Curve is the largest stablecoin liquidity pool with over $1.2 billion in total value locked. And then Maker, which is 
really still the OG of DeFi with just under $2 billion locked or 3 million ETH in Maker being collateralized to mint their decentralized stablecoin, DAI, and that now has a circulating supply of $860 million. And finally, the top dog Uniswap with over $2.3 billion in TVL, where anyone can quickly swap between ETH and any ERC20 token or own fees by supplying any amount of liquidity. Now, the key takeaway here is DeFi is no longer some experimental niche community with over $11 billion in assets under protocol and growing daily. It's a vibrant, fast, growing, unstoppable force and you'd be best to learn about these projects sooner rather than later. You've been watching DeFi 101. Do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.